All right, what I borrowed from classical technique, and I'm not a classical guitar, so kind of wanted to talk a little bit about it. It's good to kind of learn a little bit about other styles and kind of incorporate into whatever your main style is. So uh, for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to talk on this uh, beautiful Sunday morning a little bit about um, some of the things that I've done in terms of, of helping me out, like classical stuff that I translate um, to my jazz playing. So if you notice the angle that this guitar is at, it's kind of like this a little bit, and it's on my right foot. What you don't see, it's propped up at that angle because I'm using a footstool. So um, Joe Pass kind of did this without the footstool. So you can have a strap, and if you angle it um, the way he did and a couple of folks do, do you get access to the upper fret. So that's one thing. So basically, ergonomically, where the guitar is located will make it a lot easier for you to hit higher notes um, and just be a little bit more comfortable. So I kind of like it propped it like that. Some of the flamenco guys, what they'll do is they'll take their knees, if you can see this, and they'll cross it over. And sometimes I'll do this as well. And rock guys, thing is over here, really at the pelvic area with the long strap. I don't know how you guys do that stuff. But anyway, so that's one thing is the positioning of, of, of the guitar. Um, a lot of my playing is influenced by the classical technique. Um, so getting it right there, angle it, um, and then having access to the higher frets and it just being very comfortable and relaxed. So that's one thing. Um, another guy, John Stoll, kind of does that a little bit, but his is um, almost two, two angle, almost like a cello, uh, cello type thing. The second thing I do is uh, my finger style technique. It, I wouldn't say it's a strict classical technique. It's all over the map. Um, I've watched a lot of the classical um, guys play it and stuff, but when I play more acoustic, I tend to vary the positioning of the hand to get different textures. Um, because when you're playing classical music or classical guitar, you don't have use of a, in a pure style and amplification to kind of help you. So just to change the tonal colors, really good classical guitars are all over. The right hand is almost like a mic. Um, get it closer here, you get a nice warm tone. The closer to the bridge that you go, um, the the bite, biteier the tone becomes. So just playing around with that a little bit. Here, because I'm working with the telly, I tended to stay mostly on the neck position. And you'll notice this even folks who play a lot of plectrum. Um, sometimes you're even really on the fret itself playing it, so you get that really nice, fat, warm tone. It also depends upon your pickup, the type of guitars that, um, um, that, that you're playing. So again, my hand position, which I use the P, I, M, A. Um, so kind of use it a little bit independently. I wouldn't say it's a strict classical um, style, but it's influenced by classical guitar. And of course, don't have a lot of nails right now, and I've never been one to grow them that long. Sometimes I use Alaska pick, so I have a, uh, some nails, uh, uh, some nail play here. And so it's a combination of flesh and nail to get a nice warm tone. I do love just the thumb stuff. I do play a lot of that West kind of. So that's a fat tone that's, you know, if you did this versus that's nails, you can't see it, but versus thumb, flesh. So to recap, one, use of the footstool um, and the way I'm sitting in my position, borrowed from the classical technique. Um, two, um, the fact that I'm doing finger style a little bit um, in the classical technique in terms of the way I'm holding uh, uh, my right hand and the, the finger independence, the PIMA, that's classical technique. Um, the third one is tendencies to really use that right hand as a um, sort of, like I said, sort of like a tonal character, depending upon the location. So I'm very cognizant of that stuff, especially if I'm playing lines that are repetitive. All right. Sorry for the long video, so just thought I'd talk a little bit more about technique in this thing and on how you can borrow something, i.e. a classical technique, and kind of incorporate it into your jazz guitar playing. Thank you again for watching and have a great Sunday.